Hey guys, sorry I don't have a fancy beating today or a music intro or anything like that. Uh, I've been a busy couple weeks at work, so I'm just trying to get some videos out because I did say I'm going to do a video every week. So don't forget to subscribe and like this YouTube channel. It really helps out uh, when I have subscribers. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go through... Um, setting up your iron responding for your first time on your mobile device and more specifically this is going to be on an android device so first off you need to go into the play store and simply just type in iar when you type in iar iron responding should come up and go ahead and hit install and i just go ahead and accept all of these access uh, requests because this is not a third party application this is specifically developed by iron responding once it's installed, go ahead and simply hit the open button. So your system administrator is going to provide you with a um, agency name, username, and password when they set you up. It is key that they do put an email address in your profile because when they do do that and set you up, you get an automatic notification. So for me, mine is going to be, um, well, it's going to be my default. So, so sign FD is mine. And then Daniel. And then my password. And again, you have to have. Um, your account shown up in I am responding or so you have to have a profile in I am responding before you can do this so if your system administrator has not provided this then you're not going to be able to uh, have that so when you log in you're going to be brought to this screen and this is your default settings so first off there is your user profile and your dashboard settings we're going to ignore that Notification settings. This is a setting that allows you to have it so it overrides your um, phone even if it's on silent. Keep in mind this is an Android only feature. I don't like using that uh, a lot of times, but this time I'm going to go ahead and check it. And then we're going to scroll down to mapping settings. Now this is when it comes up and actually says map. Default zoom 75 to 80% is pretty average where I'm at. The resolution of Google Maps in our area is not that great. I do prefer the hybrid map. The hybrid map is a satellite image with the roads overlaid. Now you can do normal, which is just the road map, satellite only, terrain, and then the hybrid. And this is just when you're mapping it within the application. Uh, when mapping, it allows you to show the full route or zoom to the destination. I prefer to zoom to the destination where I respond to the station. So when I respond, it will launch it. I can quickly glance at it. I have a holder on my phone, so when on my car, so when I actually set it in my car, uh, I can just glance down at it like a GPS. I don't actually touch it while I'm driving. I just hit map and GPS, so it actually tracks me and opens the app, so I can just glance down. <laughs> Track me after I respond. Your system administrator has to have this turned on for your agency, but if it is, you can actually set it to track you for 10, 15, 20 minutes after you check in using the application. I'll show you how to do that later on, but uh, I generally go 20 minutes. And this is where you get into the incident notifications, the incident settings. So I'm going to turn my notifications on for incident settings, and then what ringtone I want. So you can choose one. Now, it has the default um, Android tones in here, but if you keep scrolling, there's a bunch that are IAR. So if you go IAR, it has a whole bunch of tones. And I actually used to have, and I don't think I have it anymore, but my actual department's cap codes in here, which was really cool because it sounded exactly like our tones on the radio. So you can do even that. So I'm just gonna go to emergency notification. And that sounds very similar to an emergency alert. Ringtone duration. 
I generally like five to ten seconds. Only reason is is you do really don't want to listen to some of those tones for thirty seconds because they are quite annoying. Uh, when a new incident arrives, simple notification. A simple notification will put a, a an icon up in the bar, and that's it. Where a pop-up window will actually have a uh, box that comes in here with like four or five different options, and then you can select it there. I prefer for incident notifications a pop-up window. The less you have to do, the better. Delete older than one year. I. I'm nosy. I like to see when things are there, but you can have it so it's only a week if your department's very busy. You can even actually have it autoplay a voice so it'll read to you the message. I find sometimes that it uh, plays the tone plus plays the voice at the same time it gets kind of garbled, so I don't usually have that selected. And then finally, heart healthy. It's a slow fade in. So what that is, instead of having 0 to 60, as in very loud instant tones, it'll fade it in. I don't like that for internet settings, simply for the fact of uh, I like to know when something's going on. So then messaging settings. Messaging settings are your internal department settings. That would be if the chief puts a message out that a unit's out of service, it would be uh, an event notification, it would be um, an out of service notification, anything along those lines. So I do check that off and I actually have it. I like the IAR notify, and that is simply the same as a email tone you would get on a computer. I only have that playing for five seconds, uh, and I usually select that as a simple notification. I like to do the year thing again, and I actually turned heart healthy on for this one. If you wanted to, let's say you work a day job. Um, I know I have a friend of mine who actually is a uh, funeral director. Um, and uh, obviously, for obvious reasons, you do not want to have um, a notification in the middle of the day, let's say 9 to 5. Uh, you can actually, even though you have notification settings, notifications on silent and vibrate mode, uh, you can actually check do not disturb, and you can go and, and customize you know, certain times of the day um, when you don't want to be disturbed. So that's a really cool option. Or if you work a day job, I know uh, another member that uh, is a realtor that sometimes may be doing meetings and may want to um, have himself uh, in the do not disturb settings during a meeting with a client. Because at the end of the day, you're selling a house, you don't want an interruption like that. So that's another option. So basically what we've done is we've gone ahead and set it up so that way we're going to get some notifications when we get a call. We're going to get a uh, notification when uh, we get a message and then do not disturb settings. So that's great. So let's go ahead and hit done. We have now successfully set up the app. You simply click on that Southside Fire Department and anytime you launch the app now will happen is is it will launch it for you and simply go right to your page that is how you set up the app on the phone I'm gonna go through the app at a later date um, and go through the settings and whatnot but that's the crash course on how to set up the I am responding app on your phone all right and that is Android. Apple is very similar. There's a couple different settings. I'll try to get an Apple video out soon. Um, Apple's a little harder for me. I'm not an Apple user, so it's a little harder for me to get that out, but I will try to get that out. I got a buddy of mine who might be able to do that for me. So thanks for watching. Again, it's IAR Daniel. I'm going to try to get a new video every week and uh, get it uploaded. So thanks again for watching and enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe.